Hi, this is Mr. Moorhead. Um, I hope everybody out there is hanging in there during this very strange time in the world that everybody is being safe. Um, I just want to make a short little video just to kind of make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, I know it's it's a weird time in education. Kind of feel like you know you kind of feel like you're you know like alone out there. Um, so I just kind of wanted just to let you know that. Uh, there is help out there and you're not so alone and and your teachers are just an email away um, so uh, let me just dive into the i am one class real quick um, so um, here's i am one so i just put this up here uh, this is a weekly check-in form um, i'd like for all the students to fill this out it's a a good way for for your teachers, Miss C and myself, to keep track of where you're at, what your plans are, what you're doing. I know, I know, both of us have been trying to email um, all the students and and stay in touch with you. We're still going to do that, but this is a way for you to communicate what you're doing with us, and just to kind of make sure we're all on the same page. So, I'd like for you to fill this out every week. Um, below that is a. Uh, um, are ways for you to stop in and get help. So I have um, three hours on Monday, three hours on Wednesday on Zoom that you can click this link right here and you can come in and you can ask questions and get help. So it's um, it's it's basically like a math lab online. So those of you who are very familiar with math lab at the school when things weren't so different, you could stop by a math lab and you could get help. Well, this is a way for you to click on the Zoom link and you can get help as well. So it's not really a classroom environment in terms of getting instruction. It's more just a place for you to come and ask for help. And, and the main reason is, 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 um, is we're independent study. Um, all you students are at you know, different places. Um, you could be in different courses. Uh, there could be an IM1 student, IM2, IM3, maybe even a pre-calculus student to stop in at, you know, and ask a question. So, um, so it's, you know, again, it's just a place for you to come in and get some help. It's not really a place for us to go over personal quizzes and exams, um, but I do that with students. So if you take a quiz or exam, it might be a situation where I ask what time works for you and then we can meet on Zoom and uh, and we could go over one of your quizzes or exams. So, um, but this math lab is, is just more general for you to come in and ask a question on a concept. So um, feel free to stop by as much as you want. So uh, you don't have to be there the whole time. You could easily just uh, stop by, ask a question. Hopefully I can answer it the best I can, and then you can leave and you can come back later if you want to. So, um, and then again, if, you've, if it's a chance for us to go over like a personal quiz that you took or a personal exam that you took, it might be something that we do at a different time. Um, so most of you know where to find the work, but just in case there's any confusion, uh, you'll see these modules over here to the left. So IM1 has five modules. Um, let's just click on module one. That's where you would start if you're at the beginning. And module one has three topics. Think of these topics as like chapters. Um, um, you do chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. At the end of those three chapters, they're not really chapters because they're smaller than a chapter, but that's an easy way to talk about it. Um, at the end of these three topics, uh, there's an exam. And for the exam, you would need a password. So that's something that you'd have to communicate with me that you're ready for an exam. We'll figure out a way to get you the password. You can take it. And then, like I said, I'll grade it and we can go over it if we need to. But before you take the exam, you should do these three topics. So let's click on topic one. And in topic one, this tells you what to do out of the book. So follow this because you don't always do everything, but these are the... Um, in, uh, in module one, topic one, there are four lessons. And lesson one, these are the pages out of lesson one. So activity one, one, activity one, two, you should do those out of the book. Um, for lesson two, there's activity two, one. Um, and then again, follow this because sometimes we don't do everything out of the book. For example, lesson two might have more activities, but you only do activity two, one. Um, and, um, these, uh, these are the four lessons that are, you know, that are right up above, but here is not the book. It's more of like resources. So if I click on, for example, let me just click on lesson three inside lesson three, there's these videos that might be helpful. So, um, they're not me talking. They're videos that I found on a website called Edpuzzle. 
So, um, and there are videos about the concepts in the book. Like right here, there's a nine minute video that talks about relation, function, domain, range, and the vertical line test. Um, below this is just a one minute video, one minute, 13 seconds, that talks about discrete and continuous graphs on the vertical line test. So um, right here is a two minute video that talks about function notation. So these are good videos to watch. Um, you could watch them before you do the section. You could watch them as you need to. You could watch them um, before you take a quiz or a test. Um, could be a pretty good review, or it could be uh, we'd like a good resource to use if you get stuck. And uh, so um, also in here, uh, there's these activities. These are not graded. Uh, these are just activities that are in here to help you understand the concepts. So, so basically what I'm showing you here are just, uh, you know, like our resources to help you and kind of guide you, especially in times like this when you feel like you're at home all by yourself. Um, so here's just some activities. So like here's the, here's the vertical line test. Um, it kind of actually went down. Um, so if you take this and you drag it across, you can see that it touches the graph twice. So because it touches it twice, it fails the vertical line test. So these are just activities to do. Um, and uh, uh, so, so we're right here at topic one. Um, here's the vocabulary. If you click it, it'll save to me in my Google Drive. Um, you know, I'm sorry, it'll save in your Google Drive and then you can share it with me when you're done with it. And then here's the quiz right here. For the quiz, there is no password. You can click on it and take it whenever you want. Um, obviously, you know, you want to do the work and, and you know, uh, learn the material and then take the quiz. So again, when you take the quiz, there's no password. You don't need my permission to take it. You can take it whenever you want. And then when you're done with it, I'll grade it. And then if we need to go over it, we can meet on Zoom. And uh, so that's topic one. Um, you would have the exact same things to do in topic two. And then, you know, there's a topic one quiz, a topic two quiz, a topic three quiz. And then when you're done with the work and the quizzes out of these topics, um, at some point we have, I've graded the quizzes, I've gone over the quizzes. Um, you've probably asked questions on some of the problems and I've tried to help you on it. And then there's an exam. And that's how you get through a module. And, you know, that'll get you through module one. Module one and module two are the first five credits of IM1. Module three, four, and five are the second five credits of module, I mean, uh, you, you know, of IM1. So that's how you get your 10 credits. So hopefully that was kind of helpful. Um, I know most of the students at the school um, are already somewhere in these modules and you've already heard me talk about this so it's nothing new but i just wanted to make sure that everybody uh, was on the same page especially when you feel like you're at home and you have no one to ask and and there actually are some you know students that are relatively new to our school so i kind of want to make sure that you kind of understood what was expected and if you have any questions you can email me at any time so um, good luck and just let me know how things are going especially if you need some help all right take care